Hey guys, so we're back with another video. This is going to be part 2 of the anime double feature. Now, this is going to be the first part of my Dragon Ball Z video. Now, this video is going to be explaining to you guys what I think about the chapter, what went down, and I want to give you guys a proper introduction and history of who and what Frieza is and what he has become over the years. Now, a lot of us grew up on the ocean dub or the fun animation version of Dragon Ball Z. So respectively, even I could also add the GT, um, even though it's not fully non-canon, we could still talk about that as well. So the, from the start of the Dragon Ball Z history, we got that, we knew there were um, Kami, we knew that we had learned of Supreme Kai's, and eventually we were jumped in into the um, lore of the hierarchy of gods, right? So we learned that there is a god above all gods, whose name is Zeno. Zeno is the overseer and lord of the universe. And eventually they end up becoming two of him due to the other um, timeline that was destroyed by a alternate evil Kai which named Zamazu right so from Zamazu end up making Zeno well two Zenos the two Zenos arguably now rules the multi 12 universes right Eventually, previously, there were 18 universes, right? Now, here, what, where I'm going with this guy is that when Frieza came back for the Tournament of Power, Frieza, we got to see how Frieza ended up becoming um, more of himself, I would say. Before we had the Tournament of Power, Frieza actually got revived. He decided to go into Earth which was a movie and they created an anime version of this. Um, we had the revival of F which was the movie and then we also had the canon part of the Frieza arc. Now both arc displayed that Frieza over time started training, never trained in his lifetime indicating that Frieza was so strong that we never saw him done anything but just talk hot air and the fact that he was so strong still goes to say what Frieza was as a entity Frieza is a prodigy Frieza is not just all talk the fact that Frieza was born into a race that we still haven't known nothing about we don't know how he got there how he we we only saw his father we never saw if you explain the other movies such as cooler which says that that's Frieza's brother they never brought it to canon so Frieza we could just say that Frieza is the only child of King Cold from that we started getting some evolutions of Frieza well versions that he created to not only honor his father but to mass his most powerful essence which is his power level from the start of the Namek we saw that Frieza was just this little tiny ruthless guy that was pointing and controlling people around but as we further on started realizing Vegeta was our narrative and started explaining to us that Frieza is considered as the most powerful, one of the most powerful beings in the universe. Frieza was scared of the sands, which every time we get a explanation of who and what Frieza is, he always have a connection with the sands. But we never have a backstory where it just focused on Frieza and his lineage. Frieza's first form, his power level was I think 530,000 which was immense for just one version of himself and as Frieza started climbing up and showing more of himself and his abilities we learned that Frieza is much much powerful than any characters that we have seen. From the Namek arc all the way up to when 
um, we started getting into the uh, the android arc where Frieza decided to come back to settle his old score after being defeated on Anamic. He became Mecha Frieza, which I still don't count Mega Frieza. He came back again, which flash forwarding in the future, even though he was stuck in hell, he got a wish back from one of his crewmanship and decided to revive Frieza in his entirety. Now Frieza from then on, instead of rushing to get to Earth, Frieza mentioned that he's gonna give himself a chance to try to train even though he always felt arrogant to not think about but Frieza is a smart individual when he has to be and we got that displayed he end up training he end up training for four months now just four months Frieza managed to catch up to a lot of people that was fighting throughout the Dragon Ball Z years that goes to show how powerful Frieza is when it comes to intellect. Just by his body training for four months, he was able to unlock a new form, which was he titled it Golden Frieza, which to him is like a mockery for the Sands, right? So Frieza, ever since he did that, then got defeated. Even though that, he still kept up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta like it was no problem and that was shocking because Frieza in his what normal form which is his last form was able to still fight people even though he was not and then once he transformed he was even more powerful now to get more into the conclusion where I'm going with this Frieza his biggest fear was Beerus. Beerus sits at the very top of the hierarchy for him in Universe 7. And that was like that omen, that dark omen cloud above Frieza's head. Like that one person that could shut him down and literally tell him what to do. Frieza did not like things like that. That's why anyway, anyhow, he could find a way to fix that problem. He, he would have. You know, so by obtaining this new form, Golden Frieza, Frieza was able to come back, and Goku was this time proposed a promise to Frieza, telling him that you know, hey, um, there's this tournament about to happen. I would want you to be part of it because Majin Buu was sleeping. So Frieza was like, I'm not interested unless I get something out of it. So. Goku bargained with him like if you help us win we're going to basically give you your life back and you could just do whatever you go do as always so Frieza was like what if I use the power for bad like and Goku was like well that's not fair because I'm gonna stop you anyway if something happens right then Frieza got to the term of power saw how immense everybody were find another version of himself which even it goes to show that Frieza don't even like the same people that looks like him. That's how crazy Frieza is. Then Frieza is that type of villain that he's so cunning. You do not know where to put him in a category because he will always figure something out to to get the advantage. So after they won the tournament of power, spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't watched the tournament of power, Frieza got revived by Whis as a token of his appreciation Beerus made it happen so at the end Frieza got his wish and he came back to became the Emperor again and all that stuff then we had another movie version which was the Broly movie which covers that Frieza came back and just started telling people like yeah I'm back I'm gonna make the uh, the Empire the Frieza Empire is back we're gonna make it bigger than ever and we're gonna stump on whoever that steps in our way then we got like the monologue of different um, Dragon Ball Z chapters and then we're here so at the latest chapter the granola arc end up finishing up we got Frieza appearing at the end of the chapter smacking everybody that had evolved in the arc and at the last minute, Frieza said that, hey, you guys are not on my site, but I just let you guys on the hook. But 
I'll see you guys next time, basically. Frieza ended up showing us that he has a new form. The new form is titled Gold Black Frieza instead of Golden Frieza. So Frieza has turned all black to now have a new form. And Frieza mentioned that he found, while conquering different parts of the galaxy, he found a new place to train where he managed to train for 10 years. So a 4 month Frieza gave us Golden Frieza. A 10 year training gave us Black Frieza. And there's one question that's been bothering me ever since then is that remember the same idea well ideals that Frieza had when he went to the Tournament of Power. He would love to suffocate the two Zenos and make them beg for their lives and he would love to be the ruler of the multiverse instead of just being a god he wanna be above everybody else and to torture the angels or the gods so that way he could sit at the very top I believe because Frieza is such a prodigy he trains so rigorously when he actually trains he don't just get a power up, he just surpassed everything that everybody else has worked on. Like that's how crazy Frieza strong he is. It would not be surprising to me that the way Frieza got this new form and normally we don't talk about demons in the uh, Dragon Ball Z. The only demons that we saw was Deborah from the demon they call him the demon king but I believe this is gonna get very dark for the next arc I think Frieza either sacrificed his soul or the person that made him train either he found someone in the hyperbolic well whatever chamber he found the training site somebody trained Frieza to get to where he is and that would not be a, a fluke because we haven't seen those six universes that were destroyed. Either some of those angels or some of those entities are hiding in different universes, which that would be cool if Frieza either kill a god of destruction, because I remember he made a deal with the universe, what, nine gods of destruction, because he wanted to swap universes, which is the whole literally message of the last um, chapter, where Granola or um, the person that wanted to be so stronger than anybody in the universe got that wish but Frieza wasn't there so because he was in a different universe or different time and space he was not counted so when he came back they used the same formula when they did that for the Trunks arc back in the um, Cell days where because Trunks is from the future or the past he's stronger than the people that's presently here they're using the same method here where Frieza came from a distant future so when he came back he was stronger than everybody else around him and the fact that that happened Frieza you could say that Frieza's focus now is to not only become a god but to replace anybody else that oppose him of of a threat and the biggest threat he has right now is either Beerus or the two Zenos and you know that he made a promise to himself that in the tournament of power like the way he saw Zeno just erase an entire universe just for fun of a tournament he said he don't like being controlled like a puppet he rather be the one that's doing the manipulation so Frieza's new form is not just for the eyes to see I think Frieza has a further on transformation I think first the the skin color changed black but I think we're gonna get a closer version of like cooler for Frieza's next form because I think he just showed us the color aura the dark aura I think it's because the reason why it's black is also because Frieza is a very evil person so the aura that he's emanating is black right now so I would not like before when he got the golden it was like a red gold color so I believe Frieza not only has an angel that is one of those missing angels from the, those um, six universes that were destroyed but Frieza got extra help 
from someone because at the end of the chapter it said that you know a new a new um, hero warrior is born just by Frieza learning how to control his stuff so listen to part two which will be starting soon and make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll be back for part two bye bye guys and be safe